How do I move email to an external hard drive? Hi everyone, Leo Notenboom here for AskLeo.com. Hey, when you're finished with the video, if you found it at all helpful, would you hit the like button, please? And maybe subscribe to the channel. Not only does that tell YouTube you found this interesting, but it also helps promote this video to more people and give it more visibility. Thanks. Here's the question I got. Can we transfer emails plus attachments from OneDrive to an external hard drive? Yeah, but <laughs> it gets complicated. It's not quite as simple as one would like. There's a very easy answer that a lot of people don't want. And then there's a more complicated answer that isn't quite everything that people are looking for either. However, it's absolutely doable. The reason we're here is primarily because Outlook.com recently made a change so that the attachments in your email count against the space you're using in your OneDrive.com account. It's frustrating because it's very easy to suddenly be out of space and not be able to send or receive any emails as a result. It's further frustrating because the attachments that count against OneDrive don't show up in OneDrive. So the only thing you could really do is download or delete the messages from Outlook.com, empty the trash, of course, and hope then that you freed up enough space to carry on. So about that downloading part, well, let's look at a couple of techniques we can use to make this happen. So here we are in the mail program in Windows 11. Now, you can do what I'm about to do with many different email programs. The key is you're running an email program on your device, on your computer, because that's what you're going to use to download an email message and put it on an external hard drive. So how do you do that? Well, here's the message. Ask Leo test. Here's a message for you to save somewhere. Great. It even has an attachment over here. Again, the ellipsis that has the uh, little title text there, actions, has a few more interesting things in it. We'll click on that and we will save as. That will open a save as dialog box and we can now choose to save that on our USB external hard drive, whatever it is, wherever you want to. So if I save that, What's happened is that the mail program has written that to disk. I'll fire up Windows File Explorer here. We'll take a look at that faux USB drive. And sure enough, there is a .eml file, which is a single email message with the subject as the file name. And you can see that it's like two megabytes in size. And I specifically chose to include an attachment to show you that that message, that file now includes the entire message, both the body of your message and any attachments. Now, knowing that you have this on your hard disk, two things. One, back it up. Make sure that whatever you're doing with the files on your computer is being properly backed up because we're about to delete the only other copy. And that is the copy online. Now you can, if you want to, hit delete on this message. I'm not going to because I also want to show you a different way to make this happen. But you can hit delete on this message and then empty your trash. And that will then free up the space in Outlook.com. But you'll still have the message on your PC. The downside of this technique is that you're saving one message at a time. There isn't really a way to bulk save a bunch of different messages all at once. You need to go through and choose which messages you want to save and then save them one at a time to wherever it is you want them to be saved. The good news is that .eml files, they're an industry standard. You can use any number of other email programs to view them. And if you do view them, you can save the attachment. You can do whatever the heck it is you want to with that email message. You've got it saved. But like I said, make sure to back it up because once you've deleted it from Outlook.com and emptied that trash, if it's only on your external hard drive, well, there's only one copy. 
it's not backed up. If something happens to that external hard drive, you're in trouble. That message is gone forever. Now, I did mention another way of doing this, another approach to this. And this time, I'm going to fire up Thunderbird. Thunderbird is another desktop email program. It is generally much more powerful than the email program that comes with Windows. It runs on your computer. It stores everything on your computer. Now, the important thing to understand here is that when we take a look at the messages in our account, our Ask Leo Free at Outlook.com account that I've been using for my example, there is our message. The problem is if we delete it right now, because it's within the account, that account is being synchronized with Outlook.com online. If I delete it here, I'll have deleted it there. In other words, I'll have deleted it from everywhere. That's not what we want. However, you'll notice down here, there are these things called local folders. Local folders are exactly what their name implies. They are folders containing email that reside locally and only locally. In other words, they reside on your computer. If I want to, I can create a subfolder, which I've already done here, called My Personal Archive, and I can now drag and drop this message to My Personal Archive. It has now been removed from Outlook.com. You may still need to go and empty the trash online to free up the space, but you've effectively deleted the message from Outlook.com. But the message is still on your computer in your local folders. And in fact, there it is, along with another one that I used when I was testing this particular technique. The bottom line here, though, is that this is actually a great way to download email and save it on your computer. In fact, it's easy to multi-select a bunch of messages in your Outlook.com inbox or other folder, and then drag and drop them all at once to a folder within your local folders in Thunderbird. Now, Thunderbird has this. I choose Thunderbird because it's very, very simple. It's very straightforward. It's very obvious what's happening. Other email programs may have similar concepts. The thing you're looking for are local folders, folders that represent not an email account, but just a place to store email on your computer. Now, there is one catch here, and the reason I say that this doesn't necessarily meet the, doesn't really answer the original question completely, and that is that this is not on an external hard drive. These folders are on the primary hard drive of this machine. And while it is theoretically possible to have Thunderbird manage its folders on an external drive, I strongly recommend you don't. There are two reasons. One, it's all or nothing. You can't say these local folders are on the external drive and everything else is local. No, that's not how it works. If you actually have your Thunderbird folders on an external drive, you will have all of your Thunderbird folders on that external drive. The email accounts you happen to have configured as well as your local folders. The catch is that there's a risk, and that is simply this. If for some reason your external drive isn't connected and you fire up Thunderbird, Thunderbird will get very confused because its database of email that it's trying to manipulate has disappeared. Not only will it confuse it, but it's very possible it will confuse it in such a way that it will be difficult to recover from. So while I recommend this as a fantastic way to download messages from arbitrary email accounts and store them locally on your PC, I do suggest that you do so only on your PC's internal hard drives. Then, once again, make sure that your PC is getting backed up. Because if you remove the email from Outlook.com and you've placed it in these local folders, they're in only one place until you've backed everything up. So I hope that's helpful. I hope that helps you solve some of the space problems that you may very well be encountering in Outlook.com these days. Uh, for updates, for comments, for related links and more, visit askleo.com slash 157531. 
I'm Leo Notenboom, and this is AskLeo.com. Thanks for watching.